in order to start using the debugger you first need to mark the specific line where you want the execution to stop and the debugger to start working um, this is achieved by placing a breakpoint you point with your mouse at the line at the code line where you want the execution to stop and double click and here you get a breakpoint when the code executes the execution should stop in this specific line and the debugger perspective should be displayed on screen so you could track and see exactly what happens the next step would be marking with your mouse the line the, the class you want to execute right click your mouse and choose debug as java application the execution starts and stops where you placed the breakpoint and here you can see how we moved to the debug perspective you can always get back to the java perspective it's not a problem but let's get back to the debug perspective that includes more views that give more information placing step over you can see exactly what happens and you can see the exact values in each one of the variables when the loop ends we move forward and we reach the next line when you reach a line where you can see a call to a specific method you can either do the step over meaning you won't get to see what exactly happens inside that method alternatively you can choose step into and get inside the method and see exactly what happens inside of the method when it is executed step over and here we reach the last code of our application and you can see the output here in the console view here you can see a representation for each one of the threads you have 